The game I'm playing right now is called Metal Storm, and it was first released on the Nintendo Entertainment System back in 1991. If this is your first time seeing this game, then don't worry, you're not alone. This 2D classic from Ira may have been praised by critics at the time and featured on the cover of Nintendo Power, but it has sadly been forgotten about in the last three decades. You see, it was never part of an old-school compilation, it didn't make its way to the virtual console, and there have been no physical re-releases since MC Hammer was too legit to quit. That is, until now. I'm gonna take a break from the usual reviews and shows to talk about something I'm really excited about, the Metal Storm Collector's Edition. This is a massive box set coming from Retrobit Publishing and Limited Run Games. And if you don't mind, I want to spend a few minutes explaining why you should be excited. Now let's start with the obvious. Metal Storm is awesome. I mean, look, there are a lot of old games that don't hold up, but this one still feels as fresh and exciting as it did 28 years ago. Part of the reason for this is because of the gravity-defying gameplay where we control a mech that can jump between the ground and the ceiling just by pushing a button. The seven levels find a lot of inventive ways to play with the gravity swap, and that little gimmick alone makes this run-and-gun shooter stand out from pretty much every other 8-bit action game. Like I said, Nintendo Power featured it on their cover, and Electronic Gaming Monthly was impressed that Metal Storm finally brought something new to the shooter genre. They loved the graphics, the gravity-reversing concept, and of course, the terrific shooting. And guys, having just played through it again this past weekend, I have to agree, this game definitely holds up. But look, I get it. I probably just sold you on downloading the ROM and playing Metal Storm through emulation. But before you do that, let me just mention that this upcoming re-release comes with a brand new opening cinema. And folks, it really goes beyond that, because Retrobit has finally, for the first time ever, translated the original Japanese into English. Now, if you played the old Nintendo Entertainment System version from 1991, then you may remember the shoddy localization. What you may not know is that Irem changed the story and ending, completely removing the social and political point the game was trying to make and instead tossing in a bunch of space magic. There's a whole boss fight that has dialogue in the Japanese version, but it's dead silent in the original American release. All this has been fixed, giving players the actual story. Oh, and that reminds me. This version of Metal Storm is tougher than what we got in the West. Look, this is the original Japanese version, through and through, and you'll definitely see that in the two difficulties. This is a challenging game, but it's fair. There are unlimited continues and even a password system. But man, this game gets tough at the end. The footage you're seeing right now is from the brand new version, and those last few levels kicked my ass. Now, let's say you're the type of gamer who isn't normally impressed by new localization, a tougher difficulty, and action-packed gameplay. Maybe you're the type of person who waits for the announcer to say, but wait, there's more! Well, this is your moment, because Metal Storm Collector's Edition is overflowing with extra goodies. What you may not know is that this is actually Retrobit's third Collector's Edition box set. Last year, they released the excellent Holy Diver box, as well as the dual Super NES cartridge that featured both Super R-Type and R-Type 3. These box sets remind me a lot of the Criterion Collection for classic games, only without the spine number, which is important. Come on, guys, put in the spine number. Look, I'm a Criterion Collection collector, so this kind of thing appeals to me in a big, big way. Now, when it comes to Metal Storm, the box is said to come with this outer sleeve, a traditional retail box, a cartridge with the usual sleeve, and of course, a full color instruction manual, which we're gonna come back to in just a moment. But wait, there's more, because it also comes with a limited edition enamel pin, two art cards, a dual-sided poster, and this numbered certificate of authenticity. What, you're expecting something more? Well, don't freak out just yet, because I've saved the best for last. This box set also comes with a collector's M308 Gunner figurine, complete with box. Now you'll be able to recreate that famous Nintendo Power cover, or more likely come up with a way cooler cover than Nintendo. But let's say that the great gameplay, the added cinema, the improved localization, the harder difficulty, and yes, this rad figurine isn't enough for you. 
Maybe you're cold as ice and ready to scoff at anything I throw at you. All right, I hear that. But hold my beer, because I've been saving the very best thing for last. Folks, you really should be excited about this Metal Storm Collector's Edition because I'm in the instruction manual. Yeah, didn't see that coming, did ya? Well, all right, actually, some of you probably did see that coming because my super unique name was also featured in the Holy Diver and R-Type box sets. Look, I'm not gonna pretend to not be biased here. I dig what Retrobit is doing with these collector's edition boxes, and not just because my name is in the instruction manual. If you're looking for a neutral, dispassionate source, then you're gonna have to go somewhere else. But not right now, after this video, because I'm not done talking yet. Like I was saying, the Metal Storm box set is pretty great, and it's also rare. Well, maybe not right now, but it will be. There were only a few thousand of those Holy Diver and R-Type box sets, and they were immediately snatched up by retro game collectors. I'm not sure this new box will be as rare, but if you're interested in it, then you may want to pre-order it just in case. I believe both Limited Run Games and Castle Mania currently have pre-order campaigns going, or at least they will in a couple of days or so. Oh, and I almost forgot, there are exclusive cartridges for the different retailers. Limited Run Games has this metallic design, Retrobit Europe has this translucent version, and Castle Mania, as well as other independent retailers, will have this dark blue model. Oh yeah, there's also this black cartridge if you want to buy the standard model. But come on, when there's an M308 gunner figurine in the mix, you probably should just buck up for the collector's edition, am I right? Look, I've said it before and I'll say it again, I'm biased on this topic. The truth is, I think this is a fun game worth playing whether you decide to go with the standard edition, the collector's edition, or just download the ROM. But I know there are a lot of people in my audience who still buy old NES games, so maybe check this one out. And who knows? I may just have one of those Metal Storm Collector's Editions to give away when it comes out in November. Yeah, how's that for a tease? So there you have it, my Metal Storm sales pitch. Now, if you would, let me get back to playing new games, pretending to be old games, so that I'll have something to post next week. Hey, thanks for watching whatever this was. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. Now, here's the question I have for you. What is a game you want to see localized again? Blanket answer, pretty much every 8-bit role-playing game. And most from the 16-bit era. But there's so many more, so I'm excited to see what you come up with in the comments below. In other news, we're going into a busy review season, so brace yourself for the next few weeks. In the meantime, I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.